Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and I'm finally uploading again! After like over a month. <laughs> but now that I'm back, expect daily uploads again and I have a multiple huge plans for the channel that you should be pretty hyped for. But before that, where was I for the last month? Well, it's kind of a long story. Uh, I kind of started last year where my friend was just like, Hey, you want to go to Europe? And I was just like, Yes! So we flew out of Vancouver in the beginning of August and landed in Gatwick Airport in the UK. Pretty cool there, went all out and about from there. Like, here's the whole map of the trip we went on. Like, it's insane. The stars represent, like, where we stayed overnight, the lines where we went. So, yeah, we did a lot, and I can't go over everything. But I'll give you some highlights here. But one of the first highlights was from Brighton. It's one of the first places we stayed because my buddy had some family there and we stayed with the family. And Brighton was really cool. We actually met PewDiePie. No, I'm just kidding. We just walked around in the rain for like six hours. But we also saw some amazing views, so it was really rad. His family was pretty chill too. And then after Brighton, we went to London because like the main part of our trip was with this group called Kentucky. It's like a business where you sign up with them, they organize like big ol' plan to do around Europe, and away you go! So it's all planned out, just hop on a bus, hop off a bus, very very easy. And we get to meet like a bunch of people there, so our group had like 40-ish people in it. So we got to travel around Europe with like 40 random strangers, and that was really cool. Great experience! Every night went out drinking, and every waking moment I was hoping I wouldn't get sick. But pretty much everyone did, it was kind of unavoidable. Oh, and while we were with them, we went off to Munich, was one of the cities we stopped in, and Munich is absolutely out of this world amazing. They have these things called beer halls, where it's a hall, and you get beer. But, but, the beer's in something called a stein, which is like a one liter glass of beer. However, you can buy like fancy traditional steins, like the one I bought. Ooh. Look at this! It's amazing! Ooh. And yeah, you can drink out of these as well. Unfortunately, I had to leave mine in a box until I got home, but damn, this ain't cool. I'm gonna be using this a lot. And it has a lid, by the way, because, like, olden time Germany, lots of flies, and this kept the flies out of your beer, because... Drinking flies is gross? Yeah! <laughs> and aside from the stein, though, also got many other souvenirs, mainly mugs, like this one from Amsterdam, because one, one of my travel things is I like mugs, because I like coffee, and every morning I have my coffee, and when I have my coffee, I drink from a mug, see where this is going, and I remember all the places I've been. So I got like, all these mugs. One from Berlin, Amsterdam, London, and another one from London, from the YouTube creator space. Because luckily, when we're in a train station, my buddy happened to point it out, and I was like, whoa, we're super going there. And yeah, totally didn't waste a ton of money there. Not like, <laughs> who would do that? Why would a YouTuber? Buy all this YouTube merch, like... <laughs> I had to. Well, I didn't like have to, but I'm making a second channel and... Kind of merch like this is kind of gonna help it out. But, more on the second channel stuff later. Because there's still more trip stuff to go over. Like the actual places we went. So, another big highlight was, of course, when we went to Rome. Rome, absolutely incredible ancient city, has the Colosseum, has this thing, has that thing, and torrential rain. <laughs> yeah, when our Kentucky group went, it was supposed to be the hottest place we went on the entire trip, yet absolute torrential rain. It was amazing, actually, because I, I don't think I've seen rain that bad in my entire life. At least it was really up there. Like, I had this umbrella. I threw it out already, but uh, 
I had this like really cheap dollar store umbrella with little metal tongs on the side. You know what holds up the umbrella? Well, the wind was so strong, they just kept breaking and bending. So I was there, just in the rain, holding this little umbrella, and uh, every time when the arms broke, I'd like turn it to a non-broken arm. I went through like half of them before I finally got into the Colosseum to check that out. So that was a really cool experience. Our group also went to Venice and we had like a Venetian dinner too and oh, we got like masquerade ball masks. And of course, your boy Kibitz got the best one ever. Like check this out. Oh, it's like a steampunk one. Oh, the strap broke on it in my suit luggage. But, like you can imagine, pretty freaking cool. I can actually see out of this eye, thankfully. Thought I wouldn't, but you know, it's a cool mask. I don't have anything else to say. Except for, it gets freaking spray paint or whatever all over my face. So like, when we went to the masquerade dinner, of course I went in wearing the mask. And then after taking it off, like to have dinner, my face was like covered in like black paint and it's just, it's kind of embarrassing, but you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do for style. I also went to Paris too. Paris, you know, Paris is pretty neat, pretty wild. And with Paris, it's like everyone knows Paris and you always know what to expect. However, I have to say, number one thing I learned from this trip is seeing it in pictures and videos does not at all do it justice. Like the Eiffel Tower is something you really have to see. Like the Colosseum, something you really have to see because when you actually walk close to these things and you learn a bit about the history, it's like, that is insane. And it is insane. And just the scale of these monuments is, what's another word for insane? Crazy. But from Paris, we split off from the Kentucky group, so we said goodbye. So sad. Missed you guys. And me and my buddy just went off on our own throughout Europe. So we intentionally went into this without a plan. We we're kind of like sitting in our hotel room like, where do you want to go? Want to catch a flight to Prague? And this is like a serious thing, like we had absolutely no idea. But from the Kentucky thing, like drinking every night, being sick, we're like, eh, let's kind of just chill in Belgium. But from Belgium, we went to Berlin. And oh, I am like a big, like history guy. And going to Berlin was amazing for me. Seeing all like the sites, the Brandenburg Gate, the Berlin Wall. And we even got to go into the German parliament building, the Reichstag and go into like this big glass dome on top of it. So freaking cool. And of course, since it was Germany, more beer halls and German beer, the best, the best. Oh, oh my God though. The scariest thing on the entire trip happened while we're in Berlin though, because we're just having dinner, just an ordinary night enjoying our beer steins. And suddenly we noticed like some police drive in front of the restaurant and then more police, and more, and more. It has like 15 different like patrol cars and motorcycles and like, what? what's going on? Everything's been so chill and now this is going on? Like is, what's happened? So I walk outside and I start recording and you'll never believe what I see. Yes, thousands of people just rollerblading and skateboarding through the streets. I don't know if this was an event, if this always happens on Sundays, but we're there on a Sunday. I, no idea. It was the weirdest thing ever. They, they actually were closing down streets for this. It, it almost seemed impromptu. I had no idea about it. If you guys know anything about this rollerblading thing in Germany, please let me know in the comments, but... And this is after like a couple liters of beer too, so I was kind of like freaking out here. But everything was fine. Uh, from Berlin though, we flew out to Edinburgh, Scotland, because a friend of ours had decided to go on a big European adventure too. And we decided to meet him up there. 
and we hung out for a little bit. It's kind of tough to make our times line up perfectly. So we hung out for about an evening and about half a day. But then we had to rock and roll down to Canterbury to meet more of my buddy's family. And Canterbury was absolutely precious. It was the nicest little town I think I've ever been to. Like, just look at this picture. Look at this picture. It's gorgeous. And a lot of the town was like that too. It's just a really quaint, humble place. And also we're visiting my buddy's cousin who was freaking rad as well. Took us to all the best spots. Went to this little cafe that had all these like birds that came up to you and it was oh, 10 out of 10. But from Canterbury, we had to go back to Gatwick and catch our flight back home. And here we are, wow. So amazing, so wild. And now that we're here, we should talk about the old YouTube, shouldn't we? So of course, daily uploads starting again tomorrow. No worries on that. I mentioned the second channel thing that's happening. I'll be telling you guys more about it soon. At least once I have like a couple uploads on it and then it's kind of on its way. And then also you guys are probably gonna be pretty excited for this, but live streams starting up again. It's gonna be Friday at 3 p.m. PST every single week and might be more from there. I don't know. Just gonna try it out again because I miss live streaming. It's nice to, you know, have that conversation with you guys and talk to you live. Also, I can tell you more about my trip or if you have questions about Europe, I'll be there. <laughs> Playing like variety games and like other stuff I missed out on while I was away. Aside from that though, I think that is everything. Uh, if you want to see more pictures from my trip, follow me on Twitter. I have just been spamming my feed with all like the best shots. And also updates are there as well. And yeah, see you in tomorrow's video. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And bye bye.